Yeah, I, I certainly agree that behavior um, is at the root of the problem. Um, and I guess what I would argue is that the, those behaviors have really deep cultural and structural roots. And um, I think while it's really tempting for us to say, um, you know, we can ask individuals to change their behavior and that will cumulatively result in the types of changes that we need to see, I think that the most um, contemporary and cutting-edge literature um, that's now developed quite a consensus in consumer studies is that those types of approaches um, where we're you know providing education and trying to enlighten people on alternatives um, has not been particularly successful um, and I think um, what we're moving toward now in the study of kind of the impact of consumption and how we really change behaviors is toward um, progressively toward more policy, um, which is tough because on the one hand, uh, particularly here in the United States, we're we're not in a great policy place <laughs> to be able to to institute progressive um, environmental governance. That said, um, I think there's some hope um, in that we see a lot of continuing developed country. Um, grassroots movements and even nascent movements surrounding alternative platforms. So, Margaret, you mentioned um, fashion is just one example and, and we all know textiles are such a huge part of this equation. Um, it is interesting to start seeing some of these um, online based thrift stores um, where you can rent fashion and not necessarily have to purchase it. I'm not saying that those are the answer, but um, Certainly, there are some advantages of the technological platforms that we have in the U.S. that could potentially help to change behavior. I think what's more likely to change behavior um, is an effort by waste management groups, environmental groups, folks interested in reduced materials throughput from all sorts of different walks of life um, to think a little bit more about how to be active outside of the market realm um, and to engage in the civic realm to push for more policy. That's that's what I where I think we'll probably have to head. Um, it's just a question of what types of policies we can actually make happen. I totally agree that um, the policy aspect, particularly in um, more affluent societies, mm -hmm. is is an absolute key driver. One of the things I believe that the EU way we directive on electrical and electronic waste has failed on is that way of trying to make electrical and electronic materials more sustainable. Though I've heard of examples in other countries, other European countries, where product lifetime labeling has influenced behaviors. Because if you're there to make a purchase and you have to see two identical items, one of which appear they seem similar quality or as you can tell to the naked eye, similar quality, but but one will last twice as long, then that's a really important factor in your decision making. But it's not something we tell consumers, which is, to be honest, why many brands have such high brand loyalty, because you know that brand will work for longer. 